Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we are going to consider first order separable differential equations of this form right here. So in the previous video, we looked at the differential equation that had a form of y prime is equal to ay plus b, where a and b were both constant coefficients. So now what we're going to do is start relaxing our restrictions on the form of our differential equation. So what I mean by that is instead of considering only constant coefficients, now we're going to consider the case where we can possibly have coefficients that are functions of x. And keep in mind that these cannot be functions of x and y or just functions of y because that would make this differential equation non-linear and we want to stick to linear differential equations in this course series. So because we're dealing with functions of x, unknown functions of x as our coefficients, then we can't derive a general solution form uh, to this type of differential equation like we did in the previous form with constant coefficients. And that's just because we don't know what these functions are. They could be anything. This function could be x squared, it can be e to the x, it can be sine of x. So there's no way that we can derive a general form to a solution. So in the case that we have a differential equation of this form, dy dx is equal to a function of x times y plus another function of x. If we have this form right here, then what we need to do is straight up integration. We put the x's and dx's on one side and we put the y's and dy's on the other side. And then we just straight up integrate both sides to obtain our solution. So it's a similar methodology that we used in this example, but now it just becomes a little more difficult because we have to integrate functions rather than constant coefficients. So we're going to go ahead and work through a couple of examples. And let's start off with an easy one. Let's say that we have the differential equation y prime plus x squared y is equal to zero. And right away we can see that this does in fact fit this form where x squared is our a of x and zero is our b of x. So in order to solve this differential equation we just separate the two variables. So let me rewrite this as dy dx plus x squared y is equal to zero. And now I'm going to get the x's with the dx and the y's with the dy's on opposite sides. So we can rewrite this as dy dx is equal to negative x squared y. I simply just moved this term over to the other side. And now I'm going to do a little bit of movement here. So I can rewrite this equation as dy over y is equal to negative x squared dx. So you can see how we have the dy's with the y's and the x's with the dx. And since we were able to separate these variables like that, that's why we refer to this type of differential equation as separable. Now for a differential equation of this form, it's not always guaranteed that our differential equation is going to be separable. However, that's a topic for the next video. So let's go ahead and proceed with this example. All we have to do now is integrate both sides. So I can take the integral of this side and the integral of this side. And from our knowledge of calculus, we know that this left side integrates to the natural log of y. And the other side integrates to negative one third x cubed plus a constant of integration. So to finish solving this, we take the exponential of both sides. And what we're left with is y is equal to c e to the negative one third x cubed. So this would be our general solution to this differential equation. And I call this a general solution because we don't have an initial condition to replace the C with. Now, if I were to specify an initial condition, like Y of zero is equal to Y naught, then I would be able to solve for our unknown value C to, in order to find a unique solution. But for the sake of this example, I'm just going to leave it in our general solution form for this particular differential equation. So now let's take a look at another example. Let's say that we have Y prime is equal to x plus x times y. So the first thing that I recognize is, is that we have a first order differential equation and we have non-constant coefficients, meaning they are functions of x. And therefore it fits this form right here. So the next thing that we need to do is try to separate the variables so that we can integrate and solve this differential equation. So we can separate this by factoring out an x and then rewriting the equation as dy dx is equal to x times one plus y. And then we can separate these variables by dividing by one plus y here and moving over the dx on the other side. So now we can integrate this equation. And just like before, we get the natural log of one plus y. And this is going to equal the integral of x, which is one half x squared plus c. Very important that we don't forget our constant of integration. So now we can take the exponential of both sides and what we get is 
1 plus y is equal to c e to the 1 half x squared. And then I can move this one to the other side. So I get a final answer for our general solution as y is equal to c e to the 1 half x squared minus 1. So again, this is our general solution to this differential equation. And as I said in the previous example, we could find the unique solution if we were given an initial condition. And we would do that by plugging in zero into this expression, setting it equal to y naught and solving for c. So the last example that I wanna consider is y prime plus two xy is equal to x squared. So again, we see that we have an a of x of 2x and a b of x of x squared. So we're dealing with non-constant coefficient first order differential equation. So the next thing that we have to do is try to separate this differential equation. So I'm gonna rewrite this as dy dx plus 2xy is equal to x squared. And I always like to rewrite uh, y prime as dy dx just because it makes it a little easier whenever we separate these variables. So now I'm gonna move this 2xy on the other side. So I can rewrite this as dy dx is equal to x squared minus 2xy, but wait a minute, how can I get this y over here without bringing an x along with it? Now the whole idea of a separable differential equation is to be able to separate these variables. If I were to do straight up integration on both sides, I can't have an x and a y on the same side. And in this particular example, we can see that there's no way that I can separate this differential equation. So what I call this is a first order non-separable differential equation. So even though it is of this form right here that we are considering in this video, it is not separable. Therefore, I cannot isolate both variables on their respective sides and just integrate. So what this gives rise to is a different strategy that we need to use to solve first order non-separable differential equations. And I will be going over that in the next couple of videos. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.